Hello everyone! Welcome back to Let's Replay Sonic Adventure DX. Last time we went through Tails' story and had a lot of problems with the freaking capture card. Hopefully that's settled now. Uh, it, it seems to be working fine, but hopefully it stays that way. I'm not good. Let's not jinx it, but yeah. Either way, today we're gonna start with Knuckles. And like uh, Tails, it's a really short story. Well, honestly, every story besides Sonic is really short. Like, it's still a decent enough length, uh, like, to be worth something, but it barely scra uh, scrapes, like, the hour mark, if even that. Like, some of the later campaigns, I think, aren't even an hour long. But it, and even if they are, it's just from cutscenes and all that, really. From anything that could harm it. Cause uh, if this was just level to level, this, job, why it was my this, fate. this game would be really I'm short. Be here and it doesn't help really that you have to see the same cutscenes like up to four times. I don't think you ever have to see the same cutscene six times. I don't think it's ever that bad. But yeah. <clears throat> Ah, oh, and so we're gonna have to fight Chaos Zero again. Or will we? <laughs> What's going on here? Oh no! Something's happened to the Master Emerald! Huh? Who are you? Did you do this? Oh, I'll get you for this! Fail. to call and I guess yeah uh, to, to call well it, spoilers I guess but to call was is the uh, whole like the energy ball thing and she was sealed inside the basically inside the master emerald so yeah she was just released um, but yeah it's funny funny you see like uh, how the master emerald well, it was shattered, but there are some, like, some of it still- some of the Master Emerald is still there. And it's funny because, even- even with that, like, SA1 has more Emerald pieces- or Emerald Shards than SA2 does. Like, with SA2, you have three- what is it? There's one, two, three stages where you get the Emerald- uh, the Emerald Shards. One of them is a key, and then- and then Rouge get has uh, one level where, well, the first of her levels is a uh, getting the emerald shards. And then after that, oh yeah, by the way, here's the news, the news person. And I believe she's talking about the master emerald shards. But yeah, um, like there were four. Uh, was it four stages in SA2 where you you got the emerald shards and and then and then like you later knuckles well the you you're in the uh, shuttle and then the emerald pieces like just flew out of the uh, flew out of it and yeah it's just it's just kind of funny how in SA2 the entire master emerald was shattered and SA1 still has more emerald shards. Uh, to collect overall, which is kind of funny, but either way, it doesn't really change much. But yeah, basically, uh, what uh, you have to do in Knuckles is just again, well, as you probably expected from me rambling on about it, uh, you have to collect the Master Emerald pieces. And it, yeah, like I, I think this was a pretty clever design choice because Knuckles in a 3D environment would be pretty overpowered in like a regular stage like it would essay like uh, the 
classics were fine because, uh, like, you had... It was a 2D environment, so you can't exactly, like, cheese your way through everything that easily. And also, Knuckles couldn't jump as high. And it was... It was, like... I, I like to dub Knuckles in SA... In, uh, Sonic 3 as, like, the hard mode, basically. And I don't know why I'm having so much trouble finding an Emerald piece right now, but... Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, it, I think it's a, it was a pretty good design choice because, like, again, it would be really, like, stupid if you had Knuckles just going, like, speed higher or something. Because it would just be really easy to just breeze through. So. But, yeah. Uh, I, I I don't know. Like, I, I do like the this whole gameplay style for the most part. Like, it's not perfect. Like, it... I don't know, like, I, I feel like it's a little bit too easy sometimes, like, finding them, like, uh, especially when you hit, use the, use the, uh, to, use to call and, and all that, because sometimes she'll actively tell you where a piece is, and it's kind of, it kind of ruins the whole point of ex exploration. But yeah. That was kind of what, that was kind of, like, Bad, but <laughs> also let me while we're here, let me just try and get this. Um, actually, no, I can't. I need I need the shuffle claws. All right, well, I may as well show this off. If we get this like little stone egg here, and just put it put over here. And I'll take the charo, with the charo egg here. If it will let me pick it up. Alright. And there we go. Yeah. Now I can steal it. Haha. -ha. But yeah, there's a secret charo, charo egg for each um, uh, hub world, I believe. I don't remember where it is, where it is for the egg carrier, though. So. But yeah, I... I I, I don't want to bring that into the Chari Garden, because I already have enough Golden Chari there, so, yeah. Let's just go to the Casino. And again, we have to hit the switch. Oh, what the hell? Why is it not grabbing it? There we go. There we go, and now we can go in. Alright, and, al and already uh, we are getting emerald pieces uh, on the radar. And yeah, and I, I will admit, like, the radar is definitely better in this game compared to SA SA2. Like, but I, I, I don't know, like, I... I I don't... I feel like I, um... What was I trying to say? I'm trying to clear... Let me try and clear my thoughts right now. Um... Like, I, I kind of feel like the ones in SA2 are a little bit too overheard because... Because of the radar. Like, I think overall the, uh, stages are... Most of them, I think, are overall more in enjoyable to play than the ones in SA1 for me because, like... I don't know, like, like I said, um, since the, the stages in SA2 are, like, all designed with specific characters in mind, they, no one shares the same stage, it makes it so, like, everything's more focused, and I, I don't know, like, I, I kind of just feel like these stages are a bit too easy, um, there are things that are better than the SA2 stages in this, like, the, the radar is better, for starters, um, and stuff like that, but, I don't know, like, the, I don't mind the one, the fact that the SA2 stages require more effort from the player, like, I, I don't know, man, like, there are some, there are a few, quite a few flaws with the SA2 sta uh, knuckle stages, but, I, I don't know, I just, I don't think they're as bad as people make it out to be, like, I, 
most I I honestly uh, feel like I prefer playing uh, playing those stages than the SA1 uh, ones because I don't remember being here before. I I don't know. I like the the first well first off they're all unique and it's, it, it's the controls in general are just a lot more fluid and mm. it's fu more a lot this more fun to play as Knuckles strange. and Rouge than it is to play as Knuckles in this game and. Well, what, what, well, uh, one one reason I can see people like not liking those stages as, as well as like just not just radar, but also um, the the fact that there are a lot of indoor levels as opposed to just being in the open environment. But I don't know, man. I, 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 with the exception of Mad Space, I think I just prefer playing those stages overall. Like I'm. I, I'm in the minority. I understand that, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just, I, I, I just prefer those stages in, in overall, I suppose. Which may seem weird, but again, I'm not saying that it's objectively better or like it's not flawed because it is. Now where am I? Anyways. Back in Station Square, I see. What's going on here anyway? Yeah, Cream. I don't really care at this point. Hmm. I wonder what those guys are doing. Something very wrong. <laughs> oh dear. No Wait, is this the... Yeah, th I think this kid here. Wait, what do you say? Yep. <laughs> okay then. I thought that was the Mr. Know It All guy, but nah. Different. Has a different shirt. Hey, it's Doctor Eggman. What's he got there? This is the only time we can go here. Eggman, give me back the Master Emerald. N Knuckles. Oh, this isn't what you're after. <gasps> you're right. That's okay, though. I can use you as a guinea pig to test it. Chaos! Chaos! Chaos? It's that creature again. The same one I saw on my island. He was there when the Master Emerald shattered. I'm sure of it. He saved me the trouble of looking for him. Now I'll get him good. To go, Chaos. Huh, changing shape won't scare me. Fine, give it your best shot. All right. Yeah, he has like her, kind of like a silver before silver was a thing. But yeah, Chaos Two. This is probably my favorite Chaos boss besides. Perfect chaos because it's a lot more challenging. Like it's a little bit cheap because it's he does this shield a lot of the time and it's hard to tell when you can actually hit him. But I mean, it, the fight doesn't last too long and it, you only have to do it, do it once and it gives you the most challenge out of a chaos fight for me. Like it's not a lot, but it's the, the most you're gonna get because if you don't know what you're doing, he can actually kind of wreck you. <laughs> But he's done. And I'm flying, because that's what Knuckles does. If you saw see the Sonic over here, he just awkwardly flies around like it, it makes no sense. You have yet to see the true powers of chaos. Yeah, yeah. That still 
doesn't phase me. You hear? I know something that might. It's about Sonic. What? What about Sonic? Exactly the pieces of the Master Emerald too. What do you mean? You're not the only one on a watch, Chase Idiot. Why should I ruin your surprise? <laughs> I wonder what he meant by that. I'd better find Sonic. Okay. I I don't know why it doesn't just cut to cut to that like or cut to this cutscene. Like why does it have to show Knuckles like outside like outside the area? Okay. So I think we have to go over here and get the shovel claws. Those things that Knuckles loves in Sonic X. <laughs> yep, here we go. You've got the shovel claw. Now you can dig through dirt and stone. Press the jump and action buttons simultaneously. On this is a, it's a lot easier to do uh, dig it with uh, in a uh, SA2 honestly because it's. It's not too bad to do this, but sometimes you kind of just jump by accident because, or like punch or something because, yeah, pressing both buttons at the same time isn't really the best way to go about doing this, but, oh well, it works fine enough and you don't have to do it often, but, yeah, you just need the switch and if you remember in Sonic Story, to get to Red Mountain we had to destroy a monkey in a cage, well, we just destroyed one to get out of that place, but, yeah, since we don't have that attack with Knuckles, we're going to have to use this instead. Uh. And considering the fact that... I, f I guess can canonically this Knuckles goes to Red Mountain before Sonic, that would... that should mean that the this monkey would be... wouldn't be there when Sonic comes here. But... whatever game. Whatever floats your boat. Yeah, but yeah. One, what? Uh, uh, just going on that little SA2 tangent a little bit again. One other argument argument people have is that a lot of the stages seem like are just too big, and my my argument for that is like speed hi like speed high highway, this dairy level, and just all that stuff aren't they are the ones in SA2 aren't much bigger than this really, and. Even then, the, a lot of the stages in SA2 gives you the illusion of being big because it, it's an indoor area of a lot of, a lot of different rooms. But they are—they aren't like like that. They wouldn't be that big if they just like made it an open space. I feel like if they just made it an open environment, it would probably be around the same size as the, these kind these stages. And even when they are big, it's easy to get around. Like Pumpkin Hill has set pieces, and it's easy to just glide around and get to places pretty fast and um, places like Securia Hall are re aren't really that big at all like I kind of feel like the whole size thing is over exaggerated like I I'm not going to defend Mad Space and of course Meteor Herd is definitely really big other than that though the site the whole size argument is just really overblown to be honest with you but yeah But yeah, I, I, I mean the stages in this game are fine, but I just, I just enjoy the levels more in SA2 because it ha they feel more, they feel like they're more designed for Knuckles. Like some of the stages definitely are like designed well for Knuckles here, but I just think they do a better job with it in SA2 for the most part. For the most part, I want to clarify that. <laughs> Ugh, excuse me. And then everyone's like, oh, how dare Harry have an opinion? 
He must lo he he must despise the SA2 stages. Uh, well, sorry for being different. And I, 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 I'm not saying you have to agree with me, like, if you like these stages more, that's fine, like, they're, they're pretty... Like, the treasure hunting is definitely the weakest part of SA2. Um, it's not the weakest part for this game, but that's because, well, you probably know, know already, but, yeah. A certain story coming up that is easily the worst playstyle in, in both adventure games. And we have to go to a, and do a uh, a boss and a rival fight that's totally not old at this point. I mean, I can kind of see like how Knuckles can see it as a Master Emerald pr piece, but. It doesn't. It doesn't look the same. Like first off, it's like a different shape than an emerald, uh, master emerald piece, and it's like it's full. If you get what I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Like it doesn't look shattered. So yeah. And now, yeah, I'm not a fan of his combat either. Like. You ca kind of have to stand still to punch. Like, you can roll, but it's not exactly the most reliable. Yeah. This is payback for all the time. For the. Uh, for you owning me in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Sonic. I'm tempted, I'm tempted to actually skip this. Because. Yeah. 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 I'm only watching this for the sake of a playthrough. You guys are too easy. But you see what I mean by that? The cutscenes kind of just get monotonous. Yeah, that's the only thing that's unique to this, to Knuckles' version, really. Besides some changed dialogue, but even then. Uh. <sighs> I guess canon canonically, uh, all three characters, like, kind of help with this, with Chaos 4, but, yeah, you don't have... It's not like uh, heroes or anything like where you, have, where you can switch between the characters or anything like that. You have to do all of these fights separately because fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Again, like this game isn't perfect. There are quite a number of flaws with it, but I still like it overall. Like, again, there are things I legitimately dislike about this game, but I still enjoy playing it. Like, um, even though there is big and there are some like stages that I'm not too fond of and stuff like that but overall I think it's still a good game but yeah I just think in general the bosses are probably the weakest part okay, one more hit Oh, man. Just 
go up. I don't care anymore. There we go. Finally, now we don't have to worry about that ever again. And now I have to see this for the third time. <laughs> you know what, screw it. It's the exact same cutscene anyway. You're not missing anything. Behold my flying fortress. My creation, the egg carrier. Beware. Chaos's true power is yet to be unleashed. <laughs> we shall meet again. Yay. 